Welcome, Geico. Welcome, Chelsea. Um, so can you please introduce yourself and tell us about Geico? Sure. Um, so I'm Chelsea Hicks. I am the HR manager here in our Lenexa location. We're actually located right off College and Renner Boulevard. Um, so just to tell you guys a little bit about Geico, Geico has been in uh, business for the last 80 years. Um, everybody, I'm sure, may know the, who the gecko is, but Geico's bigger than the gecko. Um, we actually um, provide insurance services um, for auto insurance, homeowners insurance, cycle insurance, commercial insurance. Um, Geico is the number two auto insurer in the country um, and the fastest growing auto insurer in the country. Uh, fingers crossed, we're on pace to um, beat our competitor, uh, State Farm, in the next few years and hopefully claim that number one spot. Um, but actually just uh, opened up an office two years ago uh, in our Kansas City uh, in the Lenexa location. Um, we saw that we were continuing to grow and we thought that this area was one of the best to do it in. Um, so two years ago, um, our CEO at the time, uh, who was uh, Bill Roberts, our chairman, Tony Nicely, uh, and the head of Berkshire Hathaway, who we're owned by Warren Buffett came and opened our office for it. Um, so it's all on YouTube. It's on our uh, Geico's career site. So I really encourage you guys to take a look. Um, but we have been growing. Um, our goal was to do 500 jobs in five years. Uh, we're over 400 employees strong. And it's only been, uh, we're coming up on two years. So a lot of great ideas here at Geico. Excellent. And what made you choose working at Geico? Oh, that's a great question. So um, I chose to work at Geico. It was, I graduated college in 2010. Um, and at the end of 2011, um, I just, I had had a job right out of college, but I really wanted a career. I wanted a stable company. I actually had a cousin who had worked for Geico since coming out of college a few years earlier, and she was super successful. Uh, she started as an auto service agent and then worked her way up to a auto service supervisor, and now she's actually in our IT department. And so just seeing her story really inspired me to want to get with a company that was once stable, treated their associates well, and had a lot of opportunity for uh, growth and mobility. Uh, the big thing about Geico, we hire from within. Um, so that was really important to me when choosing a company. So that's the big, biggest reason why I came to Geico. And probably one of the biggest reasons why I've stayed with Geico um, all these years. Excellent. So it uh, sounds like there, you're growing. There's probably lots of positions available. Can you tell us about some of the things that are open right now? Absolutely. Um, so we have a few positions open here. Uh, the position I'd like to talk to you guys about today is our sales representative um, position. Um, so of course, you know, a lot of companies have been impacted by COVID and Geico was one of them. Um, we initially halted hiring to really determine um, what was going to be the best for the company. And as we saw, um, there's still a high demand for us uh, and we're still continuing to grow. Um, so we are really growing on our sales and our service side. Right now in Kansas City, we only have the sales position uh, available. Um, however, we will be having our claims position available here. Um, it's actually available now, but um, it won't be available in the next few months. But we have sales claims, and then we will be hiring for service uh, in a few months. So if you're looking for an immediate position, our sales position is going to be the best position for you. Um, we are looking to hire close to 100 sales agents just in the Lenexa location over the next two months. Wow. Geico as a whole, we're looking to add uh, 3,000 associates to the Geico family by the end of Okay, so tell us a little more about that sales rep position. What are you looking for? What kind of background? What kind of skills? Uh, yeah. What does someone stand out? Great question. Um, so the biggest thing uh, that we look for is someone, I would say the, the best quality of any applicant is someone who's open to feedback and very cultural. Um, here at Geico, we are in a performance society. Um, everything we do is really about performance from uh, getting into getting the job to moving up in the company and getting those promotions. And so we always like to 
healthy people who are open to feedback and to coaching to continue to better themselves. Um, as far as the sales position, a lot of people think, man, I don't have any sales experience. How can I be a salesperson? No worries. I started as a sales associate almost 10 years ago with no sales experience. And Geico taught me everything that I needed to know. And I was successful at it. Um, we're looking for people who have strong communication skills. Uh, you will be taking inbound calls um, from our um, customers who are wanting to purchase insurance. I really want to make sure that you can effectively communicate um, with those uh, customers over the phone versus in person. You can't really see um, their um, you know, body language and things like that. So we're really looking for effective communicators. Um, we are also looking uh, for applicants who really are looking for a stable career. We offer a lot of benefits um, that I can review later, but we really want people who are, who are committed to staying with Geico and who's committed to growing themselves, whether it's in the sales role or whether they grow themselves um, like I did throughout the company. So that's what we're really looking for in the candidates. Um, that we're seeking for the sales role. Excellent. Is there a specific education background that you're looking for? Uh, no, uh, not necessarily. Um, so we do require that you have your high school diploma or equivalent to that um, for the sales position. Uh, but outside of that, that's the only education that we require. Um, if you we um, if you already have your insurance license, so your property and casualty license, that's always a plus for us. But it's not a requirement because we also uh, provide you with that license. Excellent. So um, what is the, what's the hiring process from, from start to end? So somebody uh, goes to your website, uh, they click on that sales rep position. Do they need to upload their resume? Is there some questions that they answer? Um, and what happens from the application to the interview? Great. Um, so essentially they go to geico.jobs slash Kansas City. Um, once they go there, they'll look at all the opportunities that we have available and pick which one they'd like to uh, select. Once you select it, it's going to ask you to fill out an application and it is also going to give you the option to upload your resume. So I encourage you guys, if you do have a resume, please upload it. We'd love to make sure that we're looking at it. Once we go ahead and receive that um, application, I have a team of about 10 recruiters. Um, they review your application. Uh, they get in contact with you in regards to the next step of the hiring process. We like to call it a multi-hurdle process. Um, so depending on the position that you apply for, there could be multiple steps. The great thing about uh, the COVID world right now that you know Geico has acclimated to is that all of our hiring is going to be remote and virtual. So we won't require you to come on site at all. Um, we'll do, you'll do the application virtually, you'll do the interviews with our recruiters uh, virtually over the phone, and sometimes actually we may have you um, do a video chat as well um, through a company we use, which is very secure. And then after that, if hired, we have a full background process where we work um, to verify uh, your previous um, work history, um, any education if needed. Um, and we, of course, have our, um, our medical testing. It's a hair follicle sample testing that we take you through, but it's really easy. We work with the concentras across the uh, area and we get you all ready for your first day here at Geico. So it's everything's virtual. And what about the training? Um, when uh, is there a training process that you have and is that a paid process absolutely great question so we do have a process and all of our training is paid training um so here at geico will be virtual as well until of course we go back into the building which um you'd be expected to go back into the office when geico reopened um but we take you through first licensing training um, so in order to sell or service insurance in the state of Kansas, you do need your property and casualty insurance license. So what we actually do is we put you to, through two weeks of paid licensing training where not only do we pay you, but we actually give you the tools that you need to be successful. So we have a licensing trainer who trains all of the associates. Um, we have about a 98% pass rate for the state exam. Once you um, finish the state exam and pass that, then what we go ahead and do is we put you into the training uh, based on your job. So if you're a sales associate, we train you the product that we sell. We train you how to sell it and how to be successful. If it's a claims associate or a service associate, we do the same exact thing. We train you our product, our processes and procedures, uh, and 
the great thing about Geico is because we want you to be successful, you have a training period, but you also have what we call a transition period where you're in smaller groups with a coach or a supervisor where you can get a, a enhanced support. So therefore, once you finish your orientation phase, you're self-sufficient, but you're still also paired with a supervisor. Excellent. So that sounds like there's a lot of support from the application process to the training to the transition process. Yeah, um, that's really neat. Um, so um, when someone is hired, can you talk about um, whether these positions are all full time or some of them are part time and the benefits associated with that? Yeah, great question. So all of the positions right now, so our sales positions, um, we do have a claim position that is up currently. Um, if hired for service, they would all be full-time positions. And um, those full-time positions uh, do come with a lot of benefits. Um, so when it comes to our benefits currently for the full-time positions, um, we do offer medical, dental, and vision insurance. And it's no waiting period. Um, so you can immediately go ahead and get those benefits rolling. We do have that pay vacation, sick leave, 401k and profit sharing, tuition reimbursement, um, and of course that paid training we talked about. Um, we currently do have one part-time position that is available, um, and that's for our mortgage unit. It's a part-time seasonal position. Um, where we'll have about um, 30 and 40 uh, hours a week. Hours could vary based on the business need. Um, so we do have that currently available. Um, associates who are part-time, we don't provide medical benefits for them. Um, however, um, they do accrue things like vacation time. Okay, excellent. And we have a couple um, questions about the claims position. Um, so do you think, um, so do you train claim agents or do those applicants have to come in with experience? Great question. Love if you came in with experience for claims, but if you don't have any claims experience, that's quite all right. We'll still go ahead and train you everything you need to be successful at the job. Excellent. And um, that claims position, what location is that at? All of the positions that we're hiring for is at our Lenexa location. Excellent. So um, when, uh, when people are hired on, what do you think they find surprising or rewarding about working with GEICO? Surprising or rewarding? I would say, I think the thing that they are most surprised about and rewarded by is just how much GEICO invests in the success of our associates. When it comes to training, when it comes to leadership development, if that's the track that you'd like to go down. Um, and when it just comes to supporting associates um, in their everyday life, to be quite honest. Um, I've been at GEICO for almost a decade. And one of the biggest things that I say is I moved to GEICO with uh, in Kansas City from Virginia, no friends, no family. And the only way I would have done that is for a company that I know really uh, values me, invest in me. Um, and so that's the biggest thing that I think most people will be surprised about. You don't necessarily always get that with most companies these days. Um, a lot of things can be really transactional. Um, and here at Geico, we really strive to make sure we give you the best in class training and the best, best experience uh, for the career that you wanna make here. Right, and I mean, you're a testament to that becoming hiring manager and working there for an extended period of time. Uh, you feel really supported there. Yeah. Um, so another question about that claims position. Um, what sort of claims are you looking for? Auto, home, commercial? That's a great question. Right now, our claims positions are handling just auto claims currently. Okay. Um, so how can interested applicants get their resume to you? Great question. Um, so the first thing I would tell them to do is go to echo.job slash Kansas City and go ahead and apply. If you'd like us to look at your resume, uh, that's the only way we can technically look at your resume just from a legal standpoint. So go ahead, apply. But if you also want to forward us your resume, you can forward resumes over to kcjobs at geico.com. That's our hiring box. Just let them know your name, have that resume attached, and our recruiters can definitely look at that. Um, 
So I want to encourage everyone, if you do have any questions, um, go to the bottom of your screen and you'll see the chat bubble there. You can either type your question there or you can use the Q&A um, and ask your question there. Um, so another question um, that I thought was great is, um, does GEICO have any diversity programs in place? That's a great question. Yes, GEICO actually uh, launched a few months ago and it's um, an amazing program. Uh, our ERG is our employment resource groups. Um, we have started with our first three and we're looking to, of course, expand as the year uh, goes on going into 2021. But our uh, three employee resource groups, the first three is the African American group, the LGBTQ plus group, and the parenting group. Um, so we actually have, um, it's such an important initiative that um, we have chosen um, associates um, whose primary job will be to help drive diversity and inclusion through our employee resource groups. And our senior leadership here at GEICO is so invested as well. They're sponsoring this group as well. Um, so what it's gonna provide us, it's gonna provide associates who uh, identify in those groups a safe haven um, to really be able to talk about their concerns that relate specifically to them in the workplace and allow for us to bubble those concerns up and, and to create programs and platforms for those associates to be heard and for you know, real change to come about in the workplace. Um, so we're really excited about our employee resource groups. Um, we also have in every location what we call our diverse cities who are really focused on education and awareness of different diversity initiatives throughout the year. Um, one of the things that we are focused on not only as a company right now, uh, but in our location is Pride Month. Um, we're educating our associates on the importance of Pride Month, uh, what that means, how important it is to GEICO, and providing them different ways to get involved virtually with volunteering within the community or giving back to uh, some organizations. Excellent. Um, well, I really appreciate uh, you answering questions today. Um, just a couple more. We have a few minutes. Um, so. Does the auto claims department work as a team to handle claims or uh, do, are they just sent to adjusters to handle on their own? That's a great question. So um, the adjusters and the, um, the, the adjusters that are out in the field versus the adjusters that are in the building are a little bit different. Um, so if hired here with the claims position, uh, this position you take in pretty much first notice of loss. You'd have those customers that call in that got into an accident. You go ahead and take their details down. Um, you'll also uh, be working sometimes with um, litigators, um, customers to determine fault, determine who's liable, and having to make decisions on what Geico's going to pay out. Um, so that's essentially what the claims position in our office is doing. Excellent. And how many of those positions are available? Um, so currently right now, um, we don't have a set cap. Um, we're still trying to figure out um, what our volume is going to look like and how we can best support our customers and our business need. We do have an upcoming class for that um, that starts on July the 16th. So I encourage anyone who's very much interested in applying for the claims position. That's the only date that we have available right now. So I would encourage you to apply uh, and really, um, you know, try to get rolling on the process for that. So get that application in. <laughs> I'm hoping we can keep the, you know, keep that um, position up, um, you know, for an extended period of time. But based on business needs, we may take it down for a month or two. So if you're really interested, get your app in right now. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, Chelsea, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Um, all of these sessions are recorded and will be available for a limited time on our website um, and on Women's Employment Network YouTube page with information on how to get connected and how to apply. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time today to tell us a little more about GEICO. Uh, great information, um, available positions now. So um, good luck to everyone. Um, and we will be sending out a survey for you to make sure that you're getting connected to the companies that you're interested in. Uh, Chelsea, thanks for spending time with us. Have a great afternoon. You too. Bye-bye.
Um, and this concludes our virtual KC job fair. I hope you guys had a great time and uh, we will be following up shortly.